Hey, what's up? How's it going? Thank you for uh, joining us. Episode 62, Buddy of the Groom. We got the Dark Prince Winslow Jemaine in, and he was fun. Boy, what a what a what a joy! We talk about thick Gatorade a ton. Uh, thick Gatorade, of course, is Gatorade that's uh, been made thicker, and uh, it's uh, Winslow's baby, and it's his creation, and it's his one true. It's his Sistine Chapel as an artist, I'd say. Uh, but we had a great chat. It was uh, it was really fun chat with him. Uh, nice fun. He talks about Chernobyl too. It's a good. It's a good show. And he really wanted to be Madame Groomsman. He really wanted it. He was coming at the crown. Well, I can't wait for you to find out whether or not he made it. Uh, while I got you here, go uh, check out Winslow's art at winslowdomain.com. Very talented artist. Very funny comedian. See him when he comes to wherever you're at. My name is Mike O'Keefe. Thank you so much if you've rated or reviewed the show on uh, Apple. We appreciate that. Uh, if you haven't done that yet, go do that. It's the easiest way to support the show. It costs literally zero dollars, and uh, you when you review the show, you get my undying uh, admiration and love and support. So uh, who doesn't want that? Also, big announcement: February seventeenth, best night ever. We're back. We're at the Lincoln Lodge Monday at nine. Every Monday at nine. Uh, it's five bucks now, but uh, but hey, it's it's worth it. We're gonna put, we're gonna give you a great show. Each and every week, just like we did at the G-Man. We're doing it at the Lodge. Now, the new Lodge is uh, over in Logan Square in Chicago. And uh, you can come check that out. Uh, LincolnLodge.com, James? Yes. LincolnLodge.com. All the info is on their website. Awesome. Thank you so much. My name is Michael Keefe. Follow me at the Michael Keefe. Follow Best Night Ever at Best Night Ever Shoe. And uh, all right, cool. That's everything. Let's get after it. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck. There's one note. There it is. Good lord. Oh, we're having fun. <laughs> it's uh. Thursday, 819. We're excited. Winslow Domain's here. Fucking thrills. It's we're doing it. How's it going, buddy? Man, I'm here. I'm a little a little wore out, but I'm what, here. What are you so worn out about? I bike everywhere, man. You bike everywhere? Yeah. Oh, fucking why? Cold. Even in this weather, I in this frigid I, Chicago winter. I want these fucking thighs. You want these thighs? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I want what? just like machine gun thighs. <laughs> yes. Machine gun thighs. You got to have machine gun thighs. What What do you think those thighs will do for you in the It's bedroom? literally the only good thing about my body. Yeah. Everything else <laughs> is just like white soft boy bullshit. <laughs> like no definition at all. Okay. It's just... The like, rest of you is just clay. Like, yeah, just feet yeah. to hips. I am grown ass man. Everything else, I am like a flesh gumby. Okay. <laughs> no definition. Yeah. You know? Okay. What do you carry the bike sometimes? Maybe that can work out the top half of you. I, you know, I kind of, I've always wondered about that. Like, yeah. w- there needs to be a mode of transportation that works out the upper body. That's not some lunatic running around on his hands. Yeah. But the, I, I have can't. you seen those hand crank bikes? Oh, hey, James. Those look too. Hi, fucking bonkers. <laughs> go go to Lakeshore Drive sometime. You'll see a bunch of. Oh, there's a ton of the those. Yeah, yeah. Just just chugging along. I, it's great. Cross yeah. country skiing. You could do that. You know, <laughs> my uh, this is kind of a, a Dumain family story. But my oh, here we go. Oh, it's James. Fucking... James, can you play the drop we have for the Dumain family story? Oh, man, I can't find it. <laughs> Another d- 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 Dumain no. family story this week. This uh, week on the Dumain family story, it, I'm, Winslow this is... forgets his underpants. It's <laughs> true. Um, this is a lot of build up for a rather dull story. But basically, what <laughs> what it is my dad is so unbelievably cheap. Like, okay. Unbel- like fucking he is we just have worked on this man for so long and we <laughs> at one point found him cross country skiing through our neighborhood with a uh, essentially a homemade set of skis. Oh no. <laughs> it was a child set of skis that he had taped his boots to. Oh my god. And then for the 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 ski poles. Yeah. He had a pool cue and a golf club. <laughs> he was just pushing not even a along. second pool cue. No, not even pool a second pool cue. He was just like <gasps> pulling him, and it was just like yeah. it wasn't even that snowy. So he was yeah. just pulling himself along the sidewalk. Like, what are we talking golf club? Why five wood? What do we got? Uh, I think it was the the big boy. The big boy. Oh, a driver. Yeah, the driver. Oh, yeah. That'll get you around. Yeah. I mean, not fast. No, no, <laughs> or not in a at nice all. Way. But he did that instead of buying his own pair of cross. My dad makes his own cologne. 
Please explain. <laughs> uh, it is it is uh, like rubbing alcohol and dill. It's just dill. And just dill, and he just like Ugh. just makes it thick, and then <laughs> like he's putting on like like Native American war paint on oh his neck. <laughs> 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 oh shit! It's like I gotta go out and get the babes tonight. Yeah, Christ. god damn, this smell like a Ukrainian. Jesus Christ! That is horrendous. No, there's no way that smells good. It smells like dill. Dill. <laughs> I mean, like it smells strongly of dill and yeah. rubbing alcohol. He just he's just reeking so it's, like a hot dog. It out sounds there. like like a medicinal a potato. Dad. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god! Medicinal potato, of course, was my rap name. Yeah, of course. When I was a child in Ireland. I mean, kind of fits. And it's not bad. Yeah. You know, I was very. I would do a lot of medical based raps. Yeah, for sure. I would be like, like like how they do gore grind, where it's all like medical terminology in a metal band. Is that a real thing? Yeah. It's... So, so you're like a metal, metal, metal guy. You know yeah. all the stuff. I yeah. I'm in. I'm really into the stuff that I'm into. Okay. I'll give you that. that well, that's. I, I'm. I'm this. I'm the very same way. Mm-hmm. Uh, wh- who do you like? Who's who's a good metal band now? Oh fuck. Is Metallica still around? Oh fuck Metallica. <laughs> Dude, uh, Brian Cook, uh, the comedian Brian Cook, has one of the f- fucking funniest takes on it. He just said that the the most metal thing Metallica has ever done was sue Metallica fans, and I think that's <laughs> fucking fantastic. Uh, oh my god, damn it, shit's fucking. So funny. I own a Metallica T-shirt. Oh, I'm sorry. I do not own any Metallica albums, and I personally think they fucking suck. Yeah, but. If you're in Appleton, Wisconsin, and your toothpaste goes off in your bag, a Metallica t-shirt, a t-shirt with Metallica on it, costs $3 less than a regular black t-shirt. <laughs> so that is why I own a Metallica t-shirt. Because the yeah. government subsidizes yeah. Metallica <laughs> t-shirts. It's like, we got to get these things off the shelves. There we, oh, God. We're backlogged with Metallica yeah, This racks. six packs of Metallica shirts, <laughs> yeah. just paint it black, yeah. just pushing it through. <laughs> God damn it. And not even like a like I guess that Ride the Lightning album cover is kind of cool. But yeah. no, it's just the logo. Yeah, it's, it's just the logo. It just says Metallica. Yeah. And then when you wear it in public, people uh people who are not good at online dating will see that and go, uh, Metallica? And then I gotta be like, Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I only have that experience. I mean, like yeah. if I see another guy in a metal band. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, that's cool. Let's yeah. If it's a rare metal band that I know, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. But if I see a dude in a in a Slayer shirt, I'll just give him the horns, and he'll give me the horns, and it's just like this unspoken that's contract fantastic. between men. That's it's a, fantastic. That's exactly how wrestling fans are. Oh, for sure. Like if you I see bet. another, if you see a wrestling fan, and you do it too sweet or whatever, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it it's like, it's a nice little thing you have. But who's who's good now? Who's hot on the metal scene? I mean, who's hot? I don't know. I've got a friend named um, Maurice De Jong. <laughs> All right, okay. I know it's okay. funny. Um, <laughs> that's what, that's a hilarious name, Webb. Don't give me that face. But he is in like thirty fucking bands, yeah. and he's just unbelievable. Like the output that this man has is just okay. unbefucking leaveable. Um, I don't he's know. Like, I mean, like I listen to a lot of stuff. He's okay. in a um, he's in a bunch of shit. There's this band called Suffering Hour. <laughs> That I do love the names of all these outfits. Oh, they're so God, I love I love good. It. It's like suffering hour. There's yeah. like there's always one where it's like fucking Trypticon. And oh, shit. It's yeah. just like they sound like they sound like pills. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like like I, I take two Trypticons yeah. every morning, you know? It's like, man, I every time I wake up, I take two Effexor and then I listen to Effexor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Effexor. Effexor. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Effexor, the greatest. Antidepressant that makes oh, you sweat all the oh, time. Oh, dude. <laughs> all right. I, this is kind of a, like a foundational story of me. I Love was it. on Effexor for That's a while. What we're here. Okay. And when I quit, that shit ruined me. It's bad. Like I it's, had the to, withdrawals like, are terrible. I took like days off of work. I couldn't stand up. My full like my whole body was fucked up. And then like as my brain started, like you get that swimmy brain feeling. Mm-hmm. And then as that started to settle, um, like, I was just out of this really fucked up relationship I was in. I okay. quit Effexor, and then my dick just stops working. Yep, like yeah. hardcore. Yeah. And like it was at that point, yeah. like it was I, I was starting to see this woman that like first person that I was seeing after yeah. this relationship that I really had feelings for. And you really want to make it count? Oh my god! And like there were multiple occasions where I'm, she's like into it and she's there, and then just nothing Ugh. just completely just yeah. windsock the and worst. oh my god and like i mean it didn't work out for a number of different reasons but like the man in me is just like oh my dumb she, dick fuck I me know. Out of this one. <laughs> god, oh my dumb dick yeah betrayed by the rod 
<laughs> God damn it. Betrayed by the Rod, that is a fantastic it's first a album very, by FX Sword. <laughs> Betrayed by the Rod. Betrayed by the Rod. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Let's drink some of this thick Gatorade. Winslow, first off, tell people why you have this. Okay. What is going on? So explain uh, all of this. A while ago, I was just on Twitter, and I'm I'm bad at Twitter. Um, and I I kept seeing people posting things in all caps over and over and over again, like, like just demanding social change, demanding this, yeah, yeah. and it was like all these legit groups demanding their rights, demanding these things, yeah. and. And I, you, as a white fella, and as a to... white man, I it's it would be uncouth for me to just start saying Black Lives Matter over yeah, and over yeah, yeah, yeah. because that's not my movement. I mean, I not support them, of course. Yeah, yeah. and so we, I just we're decided pro Black Lives Matter on this. Podcast. I mean, Thumbs we're all up. wearing dashikis. Yeah, we are. Um, <laughs> and so I just thought, what's the most obscene, strange thing that I could put out there? Yeah, yeah. And so I just said, Gatorade should be thicker, <laughs> over and over and over again. And then I just shared it, and the response to that was so immediate and so visceral with people going what the fuck are you talking about Gatorade should be thicker it is it is a monumentally stupid sentence it is it, the, the thing as is as far as sentences go that's one of the dumbest it's syntactically perfectly fine <laughs> <laughs> All the words are in the right The verbs, it, it is a full and proper is, English sentence. Really? <laughs> you don't want it to be, but it is. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, as, as I've done a, a million other times, when I get a little bit of pushback on something, I, yeah. if I was just a little bit okay with the idea... I am now 110% yeah. thick Gatorade. And so then I just start- You got start... some sort of external stimulus. Yeah. And you were like, okay, here we go. People start yeah. messaging me. And then like, I see, I went to Catholic school for a while, so I know the Bible pretty well. And so I start like pulling scripture about it. 13 years, baby. <laughs> you know? No, I know and that, so, that book very well. And so then I start making these weird memes about it. Just yeah. like, like, oh, you like mashed potatoes and gravy? Technically, mashed potatoes, a thicker Gatorade. Gravy, a thick, savory Gatorade. <laughs> like I've got all of this bullshit- and it becomes such a thing that, like, what I've found, because I, I make all this merch, right? I make all the pins and yeah, stickers, yeah, yeah, and I yeah, sell it everywhere. Yeah. Uh, it's your, it's like your, it's your gig. You're an artist, exactly. Yeah. And so, if you don't tell like anybody that you're making a new thing, yeah, and then you just suddenly release it, yeah, it, there's so much more of a response for sure. Like yeah, when yeah. Beyonce, I, I think yeah, it was Beyonce, Beyonce just, just suddenly just drops, drops like, an album. Hey, here you go. You know, instead yeah. of like building it up, and then it's just like this crazy thing that happened. Yeah. Now. So, and this is uh, on par with Beyonce's album. Yeah. <laughs> I, I printed off 200 of these stickers that just say Gatorade should be thicker. And I just, I, I sold out of them in like you, two weeks. That's fucking amazing. I made, Can I get one of those for the yeah, best? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah. That's, yeah, there you go. I made, There's a transaction. I made like I love it. $400 on Gatorade stickers. <laughs> In two weeks, which is bonkers. That's fucking amazing. And so then I, I ordered I like- I made $400 on Gatorade, Gatorade stickers. stickers. <laughs> Just the dumbest possible uh, thing. Listen, every once in a while, you got to find the glimmer of hope in late stage capitalism. Oh my God. And that God. is it, my friend. I think Holy about that shit. a lot. Yeah. Because I follow all those late stage capitalism pages where yeah. they're just talking about like- how how um awful everything is and like my job is to sell things to people for money yeah of you course. know like i'm yeah, a capitalist yeah. in the sense that that's what i do i wish i was wish there was another way yeah, you know yeah, yeah. um i wish i wish this wasn't successful i wish i could be like <laughs> feed hungry people yeah, and yeah. people would be like yes yeah we gotta feed them <laughs> no response to that sticker <laughs> no, like, huge sure response that. to this one <laughs> Everyone loves thick syrupy drinks. Uh, All right, so uh, so how do you make it thick? I have uh, you can anybody can do this. Okay, here's the thing. This I, is my this, this is, is not copyrighted. Anybody yeah. can do this on your own terms. I will say this: this is my Good Morning America audition. <laughs> <laughs> we do a little demo. And yeah. uh, what's amazing is once I started telling people how to make it, I have been receiving videos from people on like Twitter and Instagram literally all over the country <laughs> and all over the world there's a guy in vietnam oh my god who messaged me is like <laughs> there's also a guy from vietnam downloaded every episode of this podcast last that's week. fantastic so I, yeah what's up dude i have How's a I, I have a store in vietnam that sells my stuff so i've that's got like amazing. a weird amount of fans that message me with these google translate messages yeah it's the sweetest thing oh um, that's amazing so you you just go to any walgreens and my dad kicked all of their asses <laughs> it's <Sorry>. fucked up <laughs> um He's like, I remember. <laughs> uh, there's a product that's called Thicken Up Clear. 
<laughs> don't try <laughs> anything else. Like there, there, people say, oh, you use cornstarch. Cornstarch makes it cloudy. I want it to <laughs> resemble. The actual, actual product. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And the goal originally was to make it so Gatorade would ribbon. You know what I mean? Yeah, As yeah. you poured in like like a yeah, in a, yeah, in a, yeah, a yeah, shampoo yeah. commercial. <laughs> and so uh you oh just put God. a good amount of it in there. How much do you use how much have I you mean, spent on thicken up? And how much do you put in? If I, you could put a like, tablespoon number on it. I, I've probably spent like twenty dollars on, on thicken up. Okay. But I take it to parties and shit. <laughs> And I thicken anything Is people that, have. I thicken. <laughs> look right into that camera and say that again, please. I thicken anything you want. I thicken water. I thicken milk. I thicken malort. You can probably. <laughs> you can probably thicken beer. I'm. I have. There's no way you couldn't. I've not met a fluid I can't thicken. <laughs> we got three virile men in here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We could thicken our own cum. <laughs> I'm we down could, for that. Yeah, we could I make our cum I... a gel. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. And then that means that you can like cook it off and get like the essence of it. <laughs> That's how you make like flavored ice creams. You know, you roast yeah, yeah. it and then you kind of yeah. you, you you process it through. This is so we could easily. make. Thick cum ice about. cream. I, so, that's all I want. Without f further ado, here we go. Here's the big four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting on you. Oh, oh yeah! Oh my god! Does that look ins that looks fucking insane! And that it, is insane. It, it, like it bends time. Like it light bends through it. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is bananas! All right. Oh god! Oh wait! It Hold on, I'll go get a clip. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Webb didn't want any. Webb, Webb, Webb was against it. Webb was very much against it, and I understand why because it looks. It looks weird. It looks, and I I went with lemon lime. Yeah, which because... is the worst. You think lemon lime's the worst Gatorade? I'm not a fan. It's a classic. It's, I love the lemon lime. When I I only drink Gatorade uh, when I'm disgustingly hungover. Oh yeah. I have to be very, and it's not even like right. It's like yeah. very big hungover. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, you just explain, to wife, yeah. explaining to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it starts. I've None eaten, of your other have guests have done this. In, in this room for podcasts. You've, who ate a bug? Uh, uh, Jim Flanagan and Harry Round. Oh, those guys we are. Uh, well, one of those guys is a jerk. Ugh, this is so. And those other, and the other one is <laughs> Harry Rowe. You're, you're that Flan man. All right, we doing well, this. Well, bottoms up. Slancha. Cheers. cheers. and all. <laughs> oh boy, this looks like. Body wash. Oh my god, that is disgusting. <laughs> That's one of the worst things <laughs> I've ever tasted. That is unreal. It bad. tastes like Jello. It tastes like it, Jello. It does taste a little bit it's like, like Jello, th like a thin Jello. But it's here's the thing that gets me: the consistency. Yeah, the there's like lumps in it. So, Sucking me up. Dude. It's so weird, right? Because I know that flavor and I know that taste, but that consistency, take it. That consistency is something that I should not have in my mouth. It's like a, a buttered popcorn jelly bean that tastes so much like buttered popcorn. You're like, yeah. holy shit. Then you actually are like, wait a minute. I'm not like, actually eating buttered fuck? popcorn. Yeah. And the thing about the, the thick yeah. Gatorade is that <laughs> it's got like... Uh, all right. The, the, the it only also, way... do, when you pour it into a glass, it... Do, I, it, it look... It's weird. It looks weird. <laughs> it's everything gotta, about it's so I gotta so show weird. the camera. So there's like... Yeah. There's like globs of like... There's um, legit globs in there. Yeah, right? yeah. It doesn't like mix all the way through. It doesn't yeah. like mix all the way through, but it's not. It, it's not one. It's, it's, it's viscous it's weird. and yeah. it like greases the inside of yeah. your mouth. Yeah. Because I think it's it's got so much thicken up powder in it that yeah. it begins to thicken your saliva. <laughs> <laughs> and as you swallow, it thickens everything down in your body. Yeah. That's Man. that's I've got incredibly so you're, strong. You're bones. trying to kill us. Yeah, you're just trying. To... I'm trying to improve your skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> that's every time I go to the doctor. And by every time, I mean once. Every... Oh my god, it's like chewable. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It, it, there's like chunks in it. I'm gonna have oh. another. I'm gonna have another swig. I'm gonna try not to vomit live oh in my god. my fucking pocket. It, it is such it, a weird. Can we thicken Lacroix? Can it thicken carbonated beverages? Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm yeah, gonna does go it work on carbonated yeah. beverages? Get another glass because yeah. I don't know if it can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and a, it's something to stir it with if you could. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to. Uh... <laughs> this is um, yeah. Welcome to my the... version of gourmet makes. <laughs> I am, uh, I guess, just a goth uh, Claire Saffet. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if you watch yeah. Gourmet Makes. No, I don't. But oh, it's fantastic. That was a great sentence. Yeah, much like Gatorade should be thicker. <laughs> it's a it's it's a show on Bon Appetit. 
on on YouTube. Oh man, I fucking hate it. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> I really it really fucks me up. I don't know why. There's almost oh, no redeeming qualities. There's not. But <laughs> really not. The thing is, is that all right? Here's you and I would both understand this. <laughs> okay. There's nothing fun about going to mass. No, right. none at all. Nothing at all. No, no redeeming. Yeah, it's the worst. Yeah, you're there for hours. As, and when they're doing like the stations of the cross, Jesus Christ, that takes yeah. fucking forever. Yeah. So my theory is if you just make people drink thick Gatorade and they think that they have to, eventually it becomes religious. Okay. 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 So, so you're, I, love, I love that you're equating just... <laughs> I mean, if you make of religion, if you make people do something unpleasant for long enough, eventually they think that they have to. Oh, there you go. You know what I mean? That's how I've maintained my girlfriend for so long. (laughs) I love it. Because she, I'm not a nice man. Oh, you're a terror. Yeah. No, I'm. They call me (laughs) the the mean man of Chicago. (laughs) (laughs) We do. We say that. It's like, oh, here comes the mean man. The mean man of Chicago. The mean man of Chicago. And of all the mean men in Chicago, you're the one who has deserved that uh, that title. It's fucked up. I mean, even after the all the mob bosses and shit. (laughs) Okay. So so here we just cracked open a. a, what do we got? Pample moose. Pample moose. Pample moose. Whatever the fuck that is. It's grapefruit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone see, knows it's grapefruit. <laughs> all right, listen. <laughs> I'm not one of these fucking smooth brains that drinks <laughs> Lacroix. <laughs> smooth brains. <laughs> uh, look at him stir. Look, even the way he stirs it, it's like a. You're like an alchemist from the. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of frothy. It is very frothy. <laughs> oh shit. Does, oh, does it work with... Oh, man. Is this the first carbonated one you've tried? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're making history right now? No, making we're making, hit- making thick history. <laughs> <laughs> what is... Is this a Batman glass? That is oh, a limited amazing. edition Riddler Burger King glass. From, or McDonald's glass. From the... From the 90s. From the Jim Carrey God, one. Damn, this from, is... From uh, Batman... What is it? The Batman Returns? Is that it? That was a whole thing. It I was remember a whole when, thing. like getting toys. Like I, because remember when it's you huge. would get like the little uh, the the gold Pokemon's at the yeah Burger the little King? cards. God, that was so fucking. It was cool. the best. It was the best. I still have them. I somewhere. mean, like you're a collector though. You like I stuff. Do. Yeah, yeah. This guy loves stuff. I got my ancient Mew in my closet. Somewhere. Oh there. fuck! I have that on the fridge back in my home in Omaha. Hell yeah, ancient dog. Mew. That's so- my mom just likes it aesthetically. She doesn't yeah. know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> This is That's pretty, hilarious. This is really shiny. Yeah. And shit. Oh no, it's nice. Oh, this is really thick. Yeah. Oh, and it's interesting when it's got carbonation, it kind of locks up the bubbles inside because it's too thick for them to reach to the top. That just looks like. Jesus. That looks exactly like cum. No, this looks nothing like cum. This looks like <laughs> spider eggs. Uh, okay. All right, metal. What's up, Gothy? <laughs> spider eggs get bent. <laughs> King Goth of Chicago. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Then yeah, kind of cool. get a little yeah. bit of food coloring yeah, in there. You got cool. a Halloween treat. That's cool. <laughs> Tell the kids it's it's spider eggs. Let's, oh man, let's see what this is like. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Oh man, <laughs> that like all came at you at once. That was fucking insane. Looking. See, that's the thing. Is when I, I was doing it at, at a party in Chicago, <laughs> and we thickened. Uh, we had blue thick, <laughs> and we were just pouring shots of it. But oh, it was like blue Gatorade, but thick. Blue Gatorade, okay. but thick. Yeah. And it was it was so thick that like you would see the videos of people taking shots, and it would like kind of jump into their mouth. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's yeah. just like it, the suction to the back yeah. of the glass, <laughs> just leap. This is uh, I don't know. It's 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 kind of like an in between between like you know the, a carbonated beverage and yeah. pop rocks, but it's like. It's weird to have something that you drink that's thick and also fizzy, because fizzy's extremely light. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, oh, somebody's going to try to fuck this. <laughs> thick well, lube. And well, that now. man's name is Michael Sean Patrick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you general. boys got to hear, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna drop trow and I'm going to fucking get balls deep. Uh, did you ever drink, drink um, glass? ever drink Orbit's? The gum? No. Uh, the travel website? Uh, no, they had Orbits was a or was it Orbs or something. It was it was like Orbeez? a Orbeez, was that it? The I think drink so. with the it's little pronounced Zelda? Arby's. Yeah. You <laughs> Did you ever have Arby's? <laughs> yeah. Uh yes. <laughs> Many have times. I had this sandwich. This is a very serious question, and then after this we'll get into the, the, the wedding stuff. Uh you are from Omaha. Yes. Uh friend of the show. 
also uh, Zach Peterson, also mm. from Omaha. Mm-hmm. What is it about Omaha and being spooky? Your thoughts? You know, it's funny because Zach Pe- Zach Peterson was the guy that told me I should get into comedy because okay. I interviewed him for a paper. Okay, and um, and he's the one that that first put the idea in my head. What actually... was it? Vampire Weekly? Uh, yeah, exactly. Nice. Um, um, like, fuck you, uh, Zach. Goth Quarterly. <laughs> um, love you, buddy. Love you, knife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Norman, knife. Nick. Um, the knife. I think what it is is it's Omaha. It, like the the Midwest is unique because uh, when you get into a smaller city and small town, there's like a lot of uh, like just spooky shit around. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But also Omaha is in the Rust Belt, right? Mm-hmm. So a lot of my childhood was going like literally. I spent a lot of my time in the sewers. I spent a lot of time my time in abandoned buildings. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, and, like, I guess I did too. Getting yeah. into like in, in like stealing yeah. shit and like making bombs and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> And like we that, never made bombs, but the, man, the amount of shit that we stole oh in my suburban God. Detroit is unreal. Yeah, I the, have the, uh, s- stealing shit that wasn't just just to steal it. Oh yeah, yeah. I backed my truck up to uh, an, an old abandoned Baptist church and I stole their altar. I How have do you steal the altar? I have the whole big ass wooden altar <laughs> that says "This do in remembrance of me" carved in it. That's amazing. and that's where I have all of like my dead animal morbid odds and yeah. ends and shit. <laughs> Um, I, I think it's just like, because I was talking about this to another comic, um, there's a lot of, everybody I know, like all my goth friends, all my weirdo friends, everybody has bones in their apartment. Everybody has bones in their house. Okay. They have like a deer skull or something because they think it's pretty. You know what I mean? It's like an aesthetic thing. They think it looks cool. And... I've had everybody. Everybody's got bones. Everybody, <laughs> like this is it's it's. I mean, you have bones in your body. <laughs> That's you James, know. I've always James? wanted. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> James. I'm <leaving. laughs> And so it's it's always when I have somebody new over and yeah. they see that I have. Any bones at all, and they're surprised by that. <laughs> Any One, bones at all. That's like there's a threshold where like a little bones is okay. <laughs> Because the thing you can is, have a little bones as a treat. <laughs> like, I mean, if you're a hunter and you have the deer head on your yeah, wall, that's yeah, yeah, one thing. Yeah, I have like fucking Fem- animals in jars and fucking femurs. Like, just I have femurs. Um, I have all sorts of horrible, morbid odds and ends. So, and I think it's yeah. Why? <laughs> how often yeah. do you come across a, a fucking corpse living in Chicago? Not terribly often. Don't listen to the news. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to think if I've ever seen a corpse in the wild in Chicago. I I did in Minneapolis once. I well, you know what? I, but I, I a say man that. froze outside in the park across the street from my house. Very sad story for that person, and also for me because I had to look at a dead person, and that's icky. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but no, not not, not frequently. Do you see I did person? see somebody dragged a, a dead body being um, like dredged out of the water by the bunch of like scuba cops. That was. Excuse me. That was they're, at work. That's a tough beat to work. I know. The it was like beat. it was like <laughs> just cold down. out, and they're they just, have to dive in. Yeah. And the, what's amazing is that they have the dead body at the bottom of the water. They have to take down the bag. Yeah. Oh, and man. then zip them like put the whole like body inside, zip it up, and then take the whole thing out. Jesus. Yeah. Anyways, that's how I met my first wife. <laughs> um, she was a scuba cop, and she, she was gave a you scuba a ticket. cop. And she, she gave you a speeding ticket at the bottom of the lake <laughs> because I was swimming to get to <laughs> the bones faster. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna get there. We don't swim fast. Oh shit! Uh, speaking of dead bodies, it's time to ask some questions. Some tough, hard hitting questions. Let's it's time to it. see whether you, Winslow Dumain, are gonna be a baloney boy or a baloney jabroni. This is episode sixty-two. Sixty. So far, uh, one in 61. <laughs> Only one person's made it. That's, of course, my best friend, Justin Gowell. Justin, I'll see you tomorrow, buddy. He's coming in it's for his birthday. It's going to be a nice time. We're going to go. We, we have a date tomorrow. We're going to go to the Bamboo Room at Three Dots and a Dash. Tiki cocktail tasting menu for two. Ridiculous. We, get, we got our Hawaiian shirts ready. It's going to be a good time. With that said, there's some questions I got to ask you. And then after that, I'll make my ruling. See, you're going to be in. You're going to be out. Are you ready? Sure. Question number one. Winslow Dumain, please plan my bachelor party. There's a couple caveats. Caveat number one, uh, money, not an issue. Unlimited funds. Number two, uh, time, space, logistics, 
not an issue. You can do anything. Anyone can be there. Whatever. <laughs> time and space? Yeah. I can yeah. defy time. I can defy enter the quantum realm for your bachelor party. <laughs> please do. <laughs> if, that's, if that's what you think you're bringing to this place, please make the quantum realm your thick Gatorade. <laughs> uh, and number three, whether or not I will enjoy it. Also not an issue. Um, you know, I'm tempted <laughs> to like, you know, when the price is right, where they just bet one dollar, yeah, and it fucks everything up <laughs> yeah. by like intentionally just turning back. I'm tempted to make your bachelor party. Everybody goes home and minds their business because I, <laughs> I know that you are out and about and you're living your fucking life constantly. Yeah, and so I think that the I'm one thing constantly living my life. I mean, you're fucking you're, you're at shows and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. And so like the one thing that I fucking want, yeah, is just one night to just chill. Sounds, nice. sounds so fucking nice. That does sound to nice. just unwind. Oh yeah. How about your bachelor party is just a nap? Ooh. How about all right? We just get you like a, interesting. We just get you a nice hotel room. Okay. We get you a nice bathrobe. We give you an edible, mm. and we just lay you out, and then we get you the little silk thing that you put over your eyes. Oh, not the yeah. not the the samurai kind. Well, maybe the samurai kind. Okay. I can, let's go samurai kind. Samurai kind. You got We got to do a little bit of uh, jijin on here. Yeah, a little bit of spice. Yeah, yeah. And then we just fucking we we take your phone. <gasps> Get it away from me. Yeah. Get rid of it. And we just let you chill for like six hours. Oh, that sounds lovely. That sounds so fucking good. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, I don't want to like every party I've ever been to. I'm like, get me the fuck out of here. Yeah. I like I planned this whole trip my whole life to go to Chernobyl, right? And I finally <laughs> fucking did it. And I'm there and my anxiety yeah. is still just like cool, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I don't want to do anything. I just want to fucking chill. And that's what I would do for you. Uh, that sounds lovely. Yeah. How was Chernobyl? It was incredible. Yeah. It's compl- one of the most beautiful and incredible things, honestly. Okay. Yeah. What uh what, what Talk more about it, because <laughs> I'd like to hear what, like, what, uh, what, like, what, what was it like? Are there people there? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people. Yeah, it's, okay. it's well, the for one, are you a gamer at all? No, <sighs> here and there, not really. Uh, well, I mean, you're getting married, so probably not. <laughs> um, no, he James, uh, James is married. <laughs> he plays a video game. Well, yeah, or two, yeah. or two. Well, when you get to the um, the first, because there's two exclusion zones. There's the 10 kilometer and the 20 kilometer, right? Yeah. Outside of the the blast site. Yeah. Um, uh, when you get to the second one, that's when you have to like sign all the paperwork and get checked in. Yeah. There's no quote unquote tourism in the zone. Yeah. You have to go as a quote science Set. advisor. Okay. And um, you you get there, you sign all the paperwork. Yeah. And then there's they're playing the the soundtrack from Fallout Three over the Are you over serious? the speakers. And so, really? like everybody's kind of like in this weird mood there. Yeah. And so there's there's the wow, the military that are there. Yeah. They have the like the police. Yeah. Um. There's like the national guard. Yeah. There's only because there's all these different entities. Because the thing is, is that Chernobyl is, <clears throat> it's like a, like a, a government within a government. Yeah. Because the Ukrainian government doesn't fuck with anything with the administration of the zone. Yeah. They just let them do what they need to do. Yeah. Um, whether or not they do that well is you know that's that's yeah. up for a lot of other debate. Um, but then there's also like kind of quasi fascist groups that have taken control there. Yeah. So once you're in, it's just like if you I mean you've been through Iowa and Nebraska many times. Yeah, geographically it's very very similar. So it's a lot of the same kind of grasses and trees that you're saying, but it's completely open and empty. Yeah. There's still like 2 or 3,000 people that live there yeah. and like are still working on like taking apart the the um power plant, but they're still yeah. using all the power lines, right? Wow. Okay. Um, and so it's just like, it's as an artist, as like a photographer, as somebody who is also trying uh, discreetly to like see if I can take like a little trinket or something yeah, of like course. that. Um, th- do you remember when you were a kid and they would have that uh, thing? Uh, it was like a Nickelodeon thing where like the grand prize is like you have sixty seconds in Toys R Us, you can yeah, take yeah. whatever yeah, you yeah. want. Like, yeah, it's like they drop you off in this huge empty city where every inch of it is unbelievable, incredible history. Yeah. And then they just say like, all right, you have 25 minutes in this abandoned radioactive kindergarten. Do what you can. We'll, Holy be, we'll meet back in 25. And oh, I'm just wow. like, you know, you, cause as a photographer, you yeah. have to like plan these shots to get it exactly right. Yeah. And you're, you're just like moving, moving, yeah, moving, yeah. moving. And then you walk and then you're at this other unbelievably incredible thing. Yeah. And it's just like, I, I could spend weeks there. 
you know, it's like Crazy. this huge. It's so big. Did it? Did you? Are you sick now? <laughs> you <laughs> like, don't. Does it? Did, like, did anything health wise happen to you? No, not at all. Um, it, my aunt was with me and she got yeah. a little sick afterwards, yeah. but that was just from travel. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. You don't actually You're get. Fly- that's a long fucking flight. It's a very long flight. Yeah. Um, you actually get more radiation flying into Ukraine. Wow. Because you're closer to the sun. Oh, well, that makes sense. You know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was absolutely incredible. I took a, a shitload of photos. They're all on my website. Great. Yeah. Well, check out Winslow's website, ChernobylFacts.com. It's WinslowDomain.com, but we're very Big close. BlackSchlongs.com. That's, that was a, that's a former guest's website. That is my uh, Tumblr. Nice. <laughs> nice. They don't let you do uh, nudity on Tumblr anymore. Do you guys know that? Oh, that's fucked up. That's it's crazy. crazy. My, my friends were so sad about that. That's where yeah. they get their porn. It's weird. always weird when you find yeah. out when somebody loses their stash. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, hun, there's porn elsewhere. There's porn at the public library if the, you know how to look for the it. The website that I used to use all of a sudden one day just started showing way too many pee videos and I was like, I gotta get plenty of this. <laughs> <laughs> like the worst. When you know what's Beige in- went yellow. It was a dark day for me. What, what was, I think it's kind of interesting is um, when I was like in high school I used to go on 4chan a lot. Okay. Everybody did. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not the only um, recovering neo-Nazi. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, What's interesting is that, like, it's a hive of, like, this alt-right yeah. fucking visceral hatred of, of homosexuals, of everybody. Mm-hmm. But it's also, at the exact same time, in the same forum, they have, like, post the things that make you want to suck dick. And, like, post the thing, <laughs> like, post the biggest, meatiest cocks you can find. And it's just, like, <laughs> like, like yeah. they're all meeting up together. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, I, like, just a, just an intersection of insane of just yeah completely uh vile fucking morally people. devoid yeah fucking awful. Uh, i can't even it, this don't is, drink anymore it's though. too thick to <laughs> don't, drink don't drink anymore <laughs> we only got a couple questions left we gotta wrap this one up quick i gotta i got a hard out tonight uh <laughs> got a hard out tonight. I got i've a got hard a hard on tonight, tonight. i Let's got a wrap hard shit up. i got a boo i am beating the underside of the table the next question i have for you when it comes to the reception, where are DJ no knows and DJ yes pleases as a metalhead? <laughs> as a metalhead, that is a hard yeah. fucking. What okay. do you when you go to a wedding? You've been to a wedding, yeah, of course. What do you? What's your deal? Do you put it aside and just let and just dance? I danced at my friend Rachel's wedding for the first time in my life. I don't think I've danced since then. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Because there's no joy in my body. Okay. All right. So I, <laughs> there's no joy in my body. Yeah, that's fucking amazing. I think like the the rule for for wedding music is like you got you got your your four danceable songs and yeah. you have one slow song to let people cool down. Yeah. Four yeah, dan- yeah. Da, da, da. yeah. Okay. Um, I think we would just have to remove all of the the goofball bullshit that that white people want and every yeah. fucking thing when all the the queen songs that are only there for because the old people <laughs> like them yeah you know i think that we should i could go my entire life without hearing bohemian rhapsody oh ever again God. what if we Don't just made it, it all marching band music <laughs> <laughs> just souza straight up jp souza <laughs> just just one dude and a sitar <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> just all a cappella. Yeah. Just that just that audio track of David Lee Roth doing running with the devil. Just that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I live my life <laughs> just over and over and over again. Okay, we got two more things. Go ahead. Who would be on your your personal Mount Rushmore of groomsmen? Of groomsmen. Yeah. Um of men that I know. No, no, no. These could be anybody. Of, of anybody? Anybody. Has, has anybody just said... Spider-Man. Of, has anybody just said, like, Mount Rushmore as it is? Yes. <laughs> that's, Numerous that's, people. That's, all right. Well, I'm not not as clever as I thought, but that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Of groomsmen? I don't really know what the function of a groomsman is. I'm a... They I, hold stuff. They hold stuff. <laughs> well, then, the man with the biggest hands. Oh, okay. Yeah. So four Shaquille O'Neal's. I yes. love it. I think, I mean, for me... I would like. I got a good friend, Matt Danner. He's a big old dude. He would be helpful. I would okay. put him up there. All right. Um, uh, Phil Collins. <laughs> uh, I don't know anything about the man. I just want to meet him. Yeah. That's Why? Why. Why him? I don't know. Find out where he doesn't think he needs to wear a jacket. <laughs> um. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is the joke. 
that a 52 year old man would make out of cocktail party. <laughs> well, got some surprising facts about me. Oh no! <laughs> um, I am very old. And I, love, I am. I keep myself young with this I love thick Gatorade cocktail parties. That's right. I don't know. Um, I think. Uh, I, who's that wrestler that killed his family? Chris Benoit. Him. <laughs> okay. Right. Him? But uh, that's him? fucking amazing. Who's that if, wrestler that killed his family? Because <laughs> he killed himself, right? He did. He did. He offed himself uh, after the rest of them. He hung himself from his Bowflex machine. <laughs> that's hilarious. Is that not the fucking funniest thing in the world? I would. It's not. But I would yeah. <laughs> take him right after he killed his family before he killed himself. Okay, that's when you would want him. Okay, yeah, because right. then he's potty. Yeah, he's yeah, 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 yeah. And You're like, listen, bro, strings, baby, we have a party to do. You can do whatever the fuck you want after this. I don't even. I didn't even know your name until two minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we just party, and then you're free to go. And that, he would be partying with the freedom of a man who knows that this is the last thing he's going to do. Okay. <laughs> is, I mean, that's like that's think, easily the boy. Oh boy, what a. I, I I couldn't be more of a fan, yet I could not be more terrified. <laughs> Think of like whenever you see like people's last meal, yeah, yeah. in jail, and like sometimes it's never it's like this big thing yeah. of French toast and all this shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> that's your big that's your big splurge item, French toast. Which French I, toast is fucking indulgent. Which is my dad used to call French toast fancy bread. <laughs> and your dad's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> And then there's some dudes that are just like one bean, yeah, and that's yeah, all they yeah, fucking want. Yeah. And that's you know that man is going yeah, straight to hell. That guy's out of here. That's yeah. fucking insane. <laughs> but I figure that that would be my most insane, yeah. elaborate thing. Uh, I know? saw one guy. He all he had for his last meal was four Dr. Peppers. That's so good. And I was like, that's fucking. That's perfect. And if yeah. he was being electrocuted, imagine like all the carbonation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it erupts out of every pore. <laughs> I love a Dr. Pepper. I had to stop drinking them because I'm trying to like lose weight and shit. Yeah, yeah. God damn, oh, what a good. beverage. A, a, a full on pop is, it'll get you. Oh, yeah. A Dr. Pepper pop. from a fountain at a Taco Bell. Oh, that baby, shit. baby, baby. I love mm. that. I'm a big Baja Blast guy. I don't I love the Baja do Blast. The, I don't really like that much caffeine. Oh, I love caffeine. Oh, I love it. I got, I've started to drink cold brew coffee at work. <laughs> I heard anyway. about this. I heard about it's um cocaine. Oh my god. This is crazy what they're doing these days. I think the but yeah, for your nose. I only did cocaine once and I pissed on a man's luggage. Never doing it again. <laughs> the true story. All right. Shout out JT Hammerstadt. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Sorry about your back. <laughs> Everybody's luggage, kid. Uh, uh we got two more things to do. Go ahead. Very quickly. Uh we got this isn't this is gonna be a very long episode, but it w- it would not be a true buddy of the room if we didn't do the ASMR minute. Uh, if you join me down here, uh, and welcome to the ASMR minute, sponsored by Bird Plus. Bird Plus shampoo for humans. Uh, please don't use it on horses. Uh, use mane and tail if you're gonna do it. Exactly, mane and tail is the preferred shampoo of the equine community. Uh, Winslow, what's your, uh, your favorite horse? Uh, I like Clydesdale. You like Clydesdale? I want a horse that can kill me. Yeah, that and suicide by horse. It's the most fuckable horse. Yeah, yeah. You ever see American Pharaoh? Goddamn look. It's a good looking horse. Jesus I Christ. love horses. I love horses. I, uh, you ever see like a horse magazine? Oh, yeah. My mom's a horse girl. Is she really? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Some of those that love horses are the ones that burn crosses. <laughs> <laughs> please, please listen to me. Drink oh, this thick Gatorade. Oh, yeah. Drink your ass. I'm going to do a little stirring of the uh, thick LaCroix. That's thick. All, all hell can't stop us now. God damn it. Come with it now. All right, that was a good ASMR minute. That was good. That was a hot that one. Was that was a hot one. That was quick, quick. Like, did you low the, lower the lights for that, too? He, James, it, when it comes this to producing. This very elaborate. I'm very impressed. When it comes to producing, James knows what he's doing. Yeah. Spare no expense, boy. He spares no expense, and you wouldn't want him to. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's fantastic. How good. Thank All right. Well, now it's come to the time where we need to cel- cel- celebrate. We need to separate the baloney boys from the baloney, not boys. This is where the road meets the road, Winslow. Wind Diesel. <laughs>
<laughs> Nobody's ever given me that one. I've gotten every nickname in the book, but there not that one. Win Diesel. That's John Idy's Twitter handle. But he doesn't need it. He's not using it. He's got Fuck a kid. That guy. Hey, he's a dick. Look at here, John boy. Thanks for, you drove me to the airport a couple weeks ago, and I really appreciate that. It's time for you to do my best man speech. We're going to make the, the noise you make when a speech starts at a wedding, and then you'll do the speech. Then after that, I will bring down my ruling from on high. When I first met, I want to say Mike. Oh, it's Matt. Matt, fuck. I thought that he was a flesh-colored fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering who brought that beef anvil and left it on the side of the road. <laughs> He's an outrageously thick man. I have broken two pool cues on his back. <laughs> and the fact that he didn't strike me back because he was sound asleep, <laughs> that's how I knew that he was the right man for whoever the fuck this woman he's marrying is. Callista Flockhart. Callista? Flockhart. That's fucking, that is the most beautiful name I've ever heard. Yeah, Full, she, that's incredible. She's on L.A. McBeal. <laughs> really? Mm. That's my bride to be. <laughs> fucking fantastic yeah, yeah shit i'm gonna be at this wedding whether you like me or not mm -hmm. god damn is your wife single no i mean <laughs> <laughs> oh. that's how i end the speech by just very inappropriately flirting publicly with your wife with my new <laughs> with, wife with your new wife of, uh, 90s tv actress calista flock that's fantastic of course Jesus. Uh, that was a deep cut well She's a deep woman. She's a deep woman. Yeah. 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 Anyway, that was a good. <laughs> what a crazy speech. But I love that's it. What I'm here for. But I tell you what. I tell you what. I don't love what I have to do now, and that's make a decision. What you're still drinking it, and I think that's fantastic. <sighs> the commitment to this. Would it change your mind if I told you I have a knife? Move. What's up? Hmm? Huh? Would it change your mind if I told you I have a knife? No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Why would that? James, happen? get me my knife. <laughs> <laughs> Try behind you. It's, if there, is, it's weird that you say that because there are numerous swords in this. Room. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I I am goth, but I am not sword goth. Let me state for the fucking record. Well, okay. I'm, not that. I'm bones goth. <laughs> I'm sorcery. Anyways, do your thing. I'm not going to your wedding. I'm swords goth. I'm not swords goth. I'm bones goth. Ooh, okay, all right. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to split hairs there, uh, fucking secretary. <laughs> right. uh, I need to make a ruling and I rule in the case of Baloney Boys v. Winslow Dumain the, the Dark Prince the Lord of the Underworld Rise, yeah. of, the, Rise of the Lichens <laughs> <laughs> I rule that you Winslow Dumain the scariest boy in all of Christendom I rule that you not a baloney boy. Too spooky. <laughs> Too s You're going to scare my aunts. At least you know if I show up at your wedding, I won't be wearing white. You Not only will you not be wearing white, you also won't be dancing. And that's what I appreciate. Yeah. No dancing. In and out. <laughs> I get a meal, I get some cake, I'm gone. I love that. It's good. I wish more people would do that at weddings. I Honestly. wish I could. I wish I could do that. What wedding? about a drive-through wedding? I'm just gonna fucking revolutionize this whole fucking thing. I think you're. I think you're onto something. Uh, tell them where they can find you. Uh, I am on WinslowDomain.com. My Twitter is just WinslowDomain. My Instagram is Calculations. Love it. Mike O'Keefe is my name. Uh, hey, best night ever is coming back February 17th. Yay. We're back at the Lincoln Lodge. Come on out. Have fun, James. Uh, tell them uh, something. Uh, comedy bar, tomato throw show every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Come throw I'm, fake tomatoes at human beings. Mike O'Keefe is going to be on I'll next be on week. I Tuesday, believe. I'm very excited. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I love you very much. My name is Mike O'Keefe. Bye bye. Uh, till death do us fart. <laughs>